Hello there my friends, welcome to AW Versatile TV. I am Abdullah and reporting for my own television. Today's news is news from United Arab Emirates and USA America. The Trump administration notified Congress it has approved the sale of more than 23 billion in advanced weapon systems, including F-35 fighter jets and armed drones to the United Arab Emirates, Secretary of the State Mike Pompeo said. The formal notification to legislator for a U.S. brokered agreement in September in which the United Arab Emirates agreed to normalize relations with Israel, becoming the first of three Arab Emirates to make such a move in recent months. There is an recognition of a deepening relationship and the United Arab Emirates need for advanced defense capabilities to deter and defend itself against the heightened threats from Iran, Pompeo said in a statement. The 23.37 billion package includes up to 50 F-35 Lightning second aircraft, up to 18 AQ-9B and manned aerial system and a package of year-to-year -year and uh, year-to-ground munitions, the State Department said. The U.S. Senate Foreign Relations House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committees, whose members have criticized United Arab Emirates' role in civilian deaths in Yemen's civil war, review major weapon sales before the State Department sends its formal notifications to the legislative branch. Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat, criticized the arms sale to the United Arab Emirates, saying it would constrain the options of President-elect Joe Biden, who has signaled he will return to the U.S.-Iran nuclear agreement. Any deal the United States makes to sell weapons in the Middle East must certify decades of agreement with Israel that the U.S. made equipment must not impair Israel's qualitative military aids, guaranteeing U.S. weapons furnished to Israel are superior in capability to those sold to its neighbors. The announcement came just days after Biden owned Arab states needed to take the presidency from Trump who made pro-Israel policies part of his re-election campaign. Israel initially worked at the prospective sale of F-35 warplanes valued at $10 billion, but dropped its oppositions after what it described as U.S. guarantees that Israel's regional military superiority would be preserved. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, U.S. President Donald Trump, and United Arab Emirates Foreign Minister Abdullah bin Zayed signed agreements normalizing relations with Israel on September 15, 2020. In the past, F-35 has been denied to Arab states, while Israel has about 24 of the jets. Israel is currently slated to buy 50 of the fighters. The proposed sale will make the United Arab Emirates even more capable and interoperable with U.S. partners in a manner fully consistent with America's long-standing commitment to ensuring Israel's qualitative military aid, Pompeo said in a statement. The 2.97 billion sale of armed drones would mark the First such exports since the Trump administration reinterpreted a Cold War era arms agreement between 34 nations to allow U.S. Defense Department to sell other countries like drones to allies. Thank you very much, dear friends.